Welcome back to the 15th installment of a series that keeps on giving. This video represents where the commercial aviation industry is at these days. They've got no money and are packing away their planes. Unfortunately, it's pretty tricky packing away a plane. This big fella looks like the owner of that plane. His mates are like, it'll be okay, we can fix it, we can bounce back from this and become profitable again. We'll just decrease legroom in the economy section by another three fucking inches. That'll make business good again after the pandemic. You know, sometimes I wish I was a princess. This is a classy way to travel. Strong blokes, a box, an armchair. Oh, I take everything I said back. Princess down. Okay, this is a good way to travel. It looks safer than getting on a plane or being a princess in a box. You get exercise and fresh air. Everyone loves fresh air. Oh, oh, oh an unfinished footpath is a whole other level of evil. That's fucked. Here's a Sheila on a bicycle on a flimsy shed roof. We know exactly where this is going. She rides in, doing the speed limit required to enter destination fact. Someone give this couple an award. Yeah, yeah, an award for the most predictable video on the internet. Action, Courtney. All smiles all the time, Courtney. Our smile, Courtney. Well done. This is a professional gig. This is your big break. Courtney down. She just couldn't maintain the smile. She's yelling, why am I working for the shittiest modeling company in the world? Fair play. I'd be cranky too if I worked for assholes. You're never too old to relive your teenage hobbies. This bloke has still got it. He's quick, nimble, lightweight, flexible. There's absolutely no way he's going to hurt himself if he gets back into skateboarding full time. Hit the showers, mate. Oh, no, disaster. <laughs> It's nice, he sounds like he's had fun, even though he's in pain. Yeah, nah, yeah, let the dream go, let it go, buddy. Go back inside and sit on your ass. Seeing someone exercise on the beach is like seeing someone have sex on the beach. Get a room, get a room, oh, <laughs> karma. Let's take a tea break. Some of these videos have been ridiculous. We need to calm down, oh, bugger me. No, the world is wrong, it's all wrong. It's hard to have hopes when cups of teas are being sent to destination fucked. Running, jumping off a yacht, no worries, no worries. Third guy, some worries. Yep, I'll have a cold glass of worries with a shot of ouchies and a large serving of regrets, please. In comes the GF. She's like, yeah, I don't see a future for us. You've either got no skills or piss poor judgment. <laughs> Cut to important people in Mumbai, India. They've signed a document. It's time to sit down and reflect on the document they signed. This bloke is thirsty and takes a swig of hand sanitizer. His colleagues are yelling, what the actual fuck? That's not how hydration works. Water. Water is the resource you require. He acts like he meant to do it and pisses off to the bathroom to have a spew. This Sheila is thinking, why must I be surrounded by bloody idiots? Seriously, why? It's not funny anymore. Too fast. You're going too fast. You don't need to show off to your wife. She already married you. Yeah, destination <coughs> fucked. And the kids are laughing at you. <coughs> this is majestic. This is one of those majestic journeys to destination F. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Overall, however you get there, majestically, quickly, or over a long period of time, doesn't matter. When the moment comes, destination fucked is unavoidable. Remember to like and comment and share and subscribe and like and like everything again and double like it and triple like it. Okay, cheers. Aussiemanshop.com's got a few good things.